In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies, and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your Heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus continues to teach his disciples about the radical love, how we are to love just as the Father loves, how we are to be perfect just as the Father is perfect. We are to reveal to the world, demonstrate to the world that we are his children, that we are Christians, that we are different than pagans and tax collectors. So we're held to a higher standard in terms of love, loving our enemies, praying for them, wishing them the best. A lot of times we are tested by people who hurt us and harm us and hate us, and it's natural to want to respond in kind but that's just continuing the cycle of evil but we need to break that cycle we were called to break that cycle to stop the hate stop the uh, evil the sin um, but to wish their good to want their greatest good so this is when love is tested is when we're tried by those who who hate us and those who harm us um, and make our lives miserable and so it's easy to be angry with them and, and want harm and want to, uh, harm to them but no, this is when we're, our love is tested, so we should pray for them. Pray for their conversion, that, that, they, that they may get on the right path, that they may know what is good, what is right, and to be virtuous for their holiness, for their salvation, for their conversion. That's what we want. We, want. we don't want people to be miserable or be punished for, for hurting us. No, we want their conversion. We want them to know the truth, the beauty, the goodness of God, and be converted so that they too may be saved. So it's basically, we want for them what God wants for them. We need to love with God's heart. We need to see with God's eyes. It's a supernatural way. So not to give in to our fallen human nature is to, re is to retaliate, to, to, uh, to strike back. No. So we can't, we can't give in to that. We have to say, no, I want your greatest good. I want what God wants for you, which is your conversion, your holiness, and your salvation. We thank you, Jesus, for reminding us that we are called to, a, to love as you love, just as perfect as you, you, you love. Help us to do so. Help us to not give in to retaliation or anger, but to forgive and to wish and pray for the best of our, of our enemies, those who hurt us, that they may be converted, that they may see the truth and, 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 and be pleasing to you and be saved. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.